every year, I, I think it's every year, the Detroit Symphony um, holds a contest for female composers. And um, they offer a $10,000 commission and um, they premiere a new piece, a new orchestral work. And um, I was really, really thrilled to get this because I love Detroit. I think Detroit is a fascinating, rich, amazing place um, right now. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted to do something artistic there and this sort of came up at the same time. So it's, it's great. Yeah. So um, I have a question uh, actually uh, before we move on from that. Mm -hmm. um, you, you said that you find Detroit to be a, fa a fascinating city. I'm curious, we're, the, the, the four of us uh, all went to graduate school in Michigan and have spent a uh -huh. good deal of time in Detroit. I'm curious as to what fascinates you about Detroit. <laughs> Not that there's well, nothing fascinating about Detroit. I'm curious about what p particular fascinates you. Yeah, yeah well, um, you know, I haven't, I've only been there twice. You probably spent a lot more time there than I have. But my band went there on tour um, last summer and we played in a venue called um, Cade, uh, Contemporary Art Institute of Detroit, which sounds a lot more, it makes it, the, it sound a lot bigger than it actually is. It's this venue, um, it's sort of like an abandoned lot and then this sort of amazing oh, yeah. art gallery. On I this, think it, is it, play is it the, Cade yeah. now? I guess so. Cade, okay. yeah. Cool. And, um, and so, and we have, you know, so we played this show and just, it, what was really fascinating was just talking to all these kids who came to the show. I and mean, we've never before or since played a more um, interesting or diverse, to a more interesting or diverse audience. Like the, there were, you know, young 16 year old, like punked out teenagers and then like older hip hop fans who were actually there for the band that was going to be on after us, but stayed to hear us and that were really like excited and, and appreciative. And people were just very vocal and um, in saying what they thought about the music, which is, it was mostly all really good. And we we're really just excited about it. I mean, it was just a completely, I don't know how else to, to say it because it was just a completely different experience from playing a show in New York or really anywhere else that we've ever played in our entire life as a band. Um, and we, you know, they also called, go ahead. Go ahead. Go, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, they also call Detroit um, the sixth borough. <laughs> Sometimes they call Philly the sixth borough of New York. But I think now a lot of friends of mine are, are moving to Detroit um, or are talking about moving to Detroit. Cool. Um, and I just, I just loved it. I, I absolutely loved it. That's really cool. Yeah. Go ahead, Sam. Well, you might be catching, the vibe you might be catching in Detroit is, to me, they seem to have a very strong uh, sense of community as far as music. There's a lot of homegrown music that people that actually live there follow and listen to that might not ever get distributed beyond the Detroit area. Right, and they're really proud of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're very proud. Of it. And, yeah, of course, everybody oh, yeah. has a strong electronic music history there. Um, which I don't know what your band sounds like exactly, but based on the piece we're going to listen to, I'm guessing that there's some electronic stuff going on. So there are, there are a lot of electronics in my band. Um, you know, also violin, clarinet, two keyboards, um, upright bass. Um, and, but, you know, it's, it's interesting because with that show in Detroit, we were opening for this band, Lord Scrummage, um, which is sort of like synthy pop, crazy almost like psychedelic they were absolutely amazing and they have this huge following in detroit and um this really dedicated group of fans and they were so cool like we crashed on their couch yeah. you know it was just this sort of like yes you're in in the club and you're just we don't know you at all but just come to detroit and and sleep on our floor and it'll be fine <laughs> That's cool. so we loved That's that cool. we loved that feeling you don't get that everywhere yeah and it was really it was very cool do you plan on doing more stuff in detroit I would love to. I mean, I really, I'm excited that the symphony sort of survived the, the strike and that in surviving, they seem to have a lot of good ideas about um, expanding their programming to include um, a bunch of different theaters and venues in Detroit and, and a lot of, I feel like they're very open-minded. So I would love to, you know, curate concerts there or um, play more shows with my band and connect with local artists um, so yeah, it's in the very early stages, but I'm really, um, I'm really excited about the possibilities. 
Cool. Yeah, having really a piece cool. played in Detroit at this point would be cool because to me, the Detroit, uh, at least the orchestra, is like the middle aged guy who survives a heart attack and learns how to love life again, you know? Because they were pretty yeah. close to the edge and they made it, so they, they have a deeper appreciation of what they got now, I think. Yeah, and you know, I don't know, I, I haven't spoken to really anybody in the orchestra about it, so I don't want to speak for them and say that they that it's they have this new lease on life but just from an outsider's perspective i'm just excited that they're there and excited that they're commissioning new work mm -hmm. and you know it kind of could anything could happen now and that's an exciting place to be 